Hello, and welcome to Accurate Credit Bureau. Today we're going to be going over how to sign up with us as a member. What you'll do is you'll go up to the top of our site and click on Become a Member. Next, you have two options here. You can either download the, the packet and fill it out by hand, or you can click on Step 1 to fill out the uh, application online. At this point, you'll pick out which packet you want. You saw either the landlord, real estate agent, property management company, line of credit, or an employer. You can sign up as one of those with us. Just so you know, all memberships are free. There is no charge to any of them. As well as the on-site inspections, we do offer those for free as well. As far as filling out the packet goes, there's a couple things I would like to note. First, you have to put in your, your name and your email. Below, you'll just scroll down in this packet. And you'll see in here, you could put in, you'll have to put in your name, the date, a firm name if it's pliable. If it's not pliable, please put in NA. Any spot on here that doesn't apply to you, you will put NA. Put in your address, your city, your state, your zip. You'll put in your email address, your home phone, a day phone if you have one, and a fax number if you, if you, number if you have one. Right here where it says please complete one of the following, the social security number, driver's license, or federal tax ID number. I'd like to note that you only have to put in one of these. You do not have to put in all three. Next it will be I'll be ordering credit reports for Obviously, this is the landlord packet, so it would be tenant screening. Location type, either commercial, residential, or even both. The credit card you wish to be billed with. So a Visa, we accept Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and Amex. You'll select one of those and put in the card number. You'll put in the credit card number, or the name of the card holder. The next line is the credit card number, the expiration date, and then the, the date. Right here where it says sig signature here, what you're going to do is you're going to come down to this box right down here all the way down at the bottom of the packet and you're going to sign it like by holding down the mouse and just signing your name. It's actually going to apply this signature to every one of the signature box, boxes in the packet. Next is set right here where it says landlords underneath the signature and the date you're going to put in the, ad, the address of the property you are renting out. You're going to scroll down a couple more pages and you can be, read through all this different uh, information and then you'll sign this pay, pay, sign right here it is the access security agreement which, which is you, you are signing. The signature is there so you just have to print your name and you're going to have to put in the date again. Scroll down a little bit more and you're going to see something called the end service user agreement. Right here it says the end user is a, you're going to put landlord. Then right down here you're going to see a bunch of boxes and these boxes will correspond with the line. The one that you want to uh, select is the one that says in connection with the tenant screening application involving consumer which is the fourth box down. One, two, three, and four. You're going to scroll down some more and you're going to see a, another end user agreement that you're going to have to sign. The signature is already there, so you're going to have to print your name and put the date. Below that will be the landlord addendum. It's the signature is already there. Print your name, put the date. Below that, if you're from California, you do have to fill this in. Uh, right here where it says the end user, you're going to put your name. Below that, you're going to print your name and put the date. This is only applicable if you live in California. After that, you'll submit the packet, and what will happen then is it will send you an email. The email is just going to ask you to confirm that you actually filled out the packet. So you'll click the link. It'll take you to something called Right Signature, who we use to sign these documents through. You'll confirm that you filled the packet. At that point, it will email you how to copy the packet, and it will email us a copy of the packet as well. The next step will be to send us your supporting documents. There's a couple ways you can do that. You can go to step three right here, file, upload, click, and you can upload the files directly into the system. Or you can email us the supporting documents, or you can fax us the supporting documents. The supporting documents that we need is a copy of your picture ID. For example, your driver's license, passport, military ID. It must be government issued. Proof of ownership of the property. It can be the insurance papers you get yearly. I'm not the. I'm sorry. The tax <laughs> taxes you get yearly, your insurance papers that you have for your homeowner's insurance, a copy of the deed, a copy of the mortgage, or a copy of the appraisal. We need one of those. Next, if your phone number is not listed, we do need a copy of your home or cell phone bill. And the last thing we need is a signed letter of intent. Now, this might seem a little redundant, but we do need this. It needs to be a state statement saying I intend to use the reports as your needs as for example a landlord and the most important thing to say is I and I will not resell the information and then you will sign that document 
Once you send that to us, it will take us 20 to 30 minutes to process those papers for membership, and then you will be good to go. We'll send you out a welcome packet with your client ID number, and then at that point, you can start running reports whenever you want. Thank you very much. Bye.